the Kleiner Perkins Engineering Fellowship for 2026 is now live and I wanted to give this fellowship, this program, a special shout out because this fellowship is how I broke in Silicon Valley and how I got my foot in the door in this tech industry. So yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out because applications for 2026 are now live. You can go and apply up until October 10. And the the head of the program was kind enough to give me a special link and I'll link that in the description. I'll link it in the comments and pin it. But if you apply through that link, she knows that you're coming through this YouTube channel and you're watch Lee code or watch algorithms for fun. So it's kind of a special demographic and yeah, she's kind enough to give me this custom link. She'll be seeing who applies through it and hopefully that will give you a better chance at landing the interview. But yeah, what is Kleiner Perkins? I just wanted to quickly talk about what this program is and how it helped me break into Silicon Valley, get my foot in the door and why this program is something that you really, really want to apply for and that you shouldn't miss out. I mean, I already had this video where I talk about it, how I broke in Silicon Valley. Lots of people watched it and sent it to me and told me that it was really insightful because they didn't really think of breaking into Silicon Valley that way. And yeah, I'll explain that more in this video. But let's get into the first part. What actually is Kleiner Perkins? So Kleiner Perkins is a venture capital firm. So they take a bunch of money and invest it into early stage and high growth startups. And they were founded in 1972. And they actually backed a lot of the world's most successful tech companies like Google, Amazon, Uber, Figma, Stripe, Twitter, Slack, and a ton of other ones. And some fun facts is Kleiner Perkins actually backed Google's Series A and Amazon Series A. So when these companies were just starting and they needed some capital, they needed some money, Kleiner Perkins was there to back them and put their put money in these companies before while these companies were still and was still very, very early stage. Series A is pretty much your first major round of funding. So if you look it up, who led Amazon Series A, Kleiner Perkins, pretty crazy. I didn't know that. I knew they invested early, but I didn't know it was that early. Series A is crazy. They probably made a lot of money off that. But yeah, these are some of the companies that they invested in. I found this tab here in Kleiner Perkins website pretty insightful, talking about a lot of the companies that they invested in over the years, it's been over 50 years since 1970, they've been investing in, in startups. And yeah, there's just been so many different startups over these years. They invested during the dot-com boom and bust. Some some of these companies busted, but some obviously boomed or, and now are fan companies, the top trillion dollar market cap companies. And yeah, they, they just have a really good track record of investing. That's why I decided to apply to Kleiner Perkins in the first place is because it's so hard to find the right startup to work at. So if you're able to apply to a VC firm like Kleiner Perkins and get into their fellowship, they already did all the work at vetting and making sure that all the companies that they invested in are good companies, are high growth companies and are high potential companies. Otherwise they wouldn't have invested in them. So all of the companies in their portfolio are very promising. And what this program does is it places you in one of those portfolio companies. And yeah, it's just like a great opportunity. So what are some current portfolio companies? I was showing some old ones. These aren't really part of the Kleiner Perkins fellowship right now because they have a new set of portfolio companies that they want to put talent in and grow these portfolio companies to be the next big companies. And she didn't really give me a list of some of all of the companies, but she did mention some of the ones that like it's still it's still secret right now who the current who the 2026 portfolio companies are, but these are some of the current portfolio companies as of 2024 and 2025. So Glean that works on enterprise search, very, very promising company. Harvey, which is AI for for legal. They raise a lot of money too, and they're 
basically building AI for lawyers. I, I really like that company. Figma, everyone knows what Figma is, the collaborative design platform. Robinhood, Rippling, Plaid, Slack. There's, there's tons of all great companies. And th these are sort of some of the later stage ones, Series E, Series F. There's even Series A, Series B, Series C. When I joined the Client Perkins Fellowship, I got placed in a Series A company. Well, they're Series A, and then they just raised Series B right before I joined in, in the summer. But I pretty much got to see it go from Series B to C to D and just ride the wave throughout the whole thing and learn a lot. And that was pretty much, that, that's probably the best experience I had in my career so far. I always look back on those moments and it really set the trajectory of my career. So I really appreciate having this opportunity. So yeah, these are some pictures. This is this is some pictures of me as you can see. I didn't have no facial hair yet, I was young, but I met Dylan Field, who's the, the CEO of Figma. This was five days after he became a billionaire. Pretty when, I mean, they, they had a deal with Adobe to, it was like $20 billion or something. So pretty much five days prior to that, when they signed a deal, he became a billionaire and I got to see him. He's a pretty nice guy. I talked to him, asked him about early days of starting Figma and he would just give me the lowdown of like, that was a hard product to build, especially from the start. And they just, a lot of technical, it was like, it was just a lot of technical work that they had to do to get Figma up and running. The people don't know. And then this was at a recent event. They had Phoebe Gates at the Kleiner Perkins Fellows. The Phoebe Gates is the daughter of Bill Gates, and she has a startup that Kleiner Perkins invest, invested in as well. So these are just some highlights over the Kleiner, Kleiner Perkins Fellowship that, yeah, these are some just, just some pictures. So let's get into what the actual program is. So first off, who is it for? The program is for students seeking engineering or design internships in the Bay Area in summer 2026. So right now it's September. So summer is probably like six, seven months from now. What what are some of the key perks in this Kleiner Perkins? I kind of touched on a lot of that, but let me just go over it again. First off, you get access to the high growth startups and the opportunity to work at at like one of these KP portfolio companies. And they're mostly gonna put you in the early stage ones. There's gonna be, throughout the Kleiner Perkins Fellowship, there's gonna be structured programming and community. So what that means is like when, when I was a KP fellow and the programming has only gotten better and the community has only gotten better since 2021. But what they would do is pretty much every week, every two weeks, they would host an event where all the fellows will get together. They'll bring in founders. They'll bring bring in speakers. You'll have food. And it's pretty much a network networking event for just the Kleiner Perkins fellows to interact with each other and interact with the founders. You get to learn a lot. That's how I meet how I met the CEO of Figma, and that's how I met like tons of other founders and CEOs. And I was able to yeah just connect with them, get their number, get their email, etc. And yeah, these structure programs are fun because not only do you meet founders and learn a, a bit about their journey and behind the scenes stuff, you get to interact with all the other fellows and all the other fellows are pretty, pretty impressive. Like the ones in my fellowship, a lot of them, some of them sold their company to like Lyft while they were still in school some of them were on Forbes. Like, there's so many different people who are part of this fellowship that are like, did you just want to get to know, honestly? So yeah, there's events, workshops, speaker series, cross company mixers, founder visits. There's just a ton of programming. It keeps you really busy during the summer and keeps you meeting a lot of people and keep, yeah, it's just, it, it's just, it, this part is good. That's all I got to say. What else? Besides a structured program, you get ask, access to the network and alumni. This part is really powerful because even to this day, I'm connected with all the people from my batch and then all of the batches after me and 
a bunch of the batches before me. So that's through like Facebook groups. And then we still have structured programming even five years after my program. So yeah, you, you just get to talk with a lot of the alumni and a lot of the alumni go to work at cool companies. So for example, I was able to get an interview at Perplexity because somebody from my batch or a batch earlier was one of the founding engineers at per Perplexity. So I was able to get an interview. So like the network effect is really big. And even within your, your batch, all those people that you work with are going to go on to do really great things. So you should keep in touch with them. So yeah, networking alumni, long-term support. This part, yeah, like I mentioned, even four years, five years after, I'm still going to Kleiner Perkins events whenever they decide to invite me and still meeting new people and still meeting founders. A couple months back, they brought the CEO of Handshake in and a few other CEOs of some some of the Kleiner Perkins portfolio companies and they just had a... Yeah, it was just another structured programming like speaker series and eating food and then hanging out with fellows. And they invited all the fellows from all the batches. So, yeah, I just got to connect with everyone. Lastly, just the Kleiner Perkins Fellowship is well regarded. Lots of people in the Bay Area know who Kleiner Perkins is, know about the program. We recruit from a lot of the top schools, the top schools try to get people to join this program. If you just look at the list of people who were Kleiner Perkins, bef Kleiner Perkins fellows before that ended up starting companies that are unicorn companies now, there's a massive list of them. So it's a very prestigious program and it definitely helps you when it comes to landing opportunities in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to say about this about the program. I'm sure I hyped it up enough, but yeah, I'm gonna give you a custom link. They're gonna know you came from James Peralta Sui YouTube channel. And yeah, I'll get the stats to see if y'all actually visited my link. Okay, last part, what's the timeline and selection process? Pretty much from now until October 10, the applications are open. After October 10, it stops and by the end of October, we'll let the people know who needs to who advance to the next stage. We'll let them know that if they advance or not, pretty much. Once you move on to the next stage, you your resume will be shared to all of our portfolio companies. So the different portfolio companies, whoever's hiring, can decide to interview or interview you or not, right? And then if they decide to interview you, when I when I went through this program, once I passed the first stage, I interviewed at like six different portfolio companies. And then I got to choose from the ones that I or the one that I liked the most. So pretty much that's what happens on this step. But yeah, by December, we'll let application applicants know if they've been selected for the video interviews with the KP fellow alumni and staff. I'm not sure about this part, but yeah, that's kind of what the timeline is. If you need clarification, I would just say go apply and the process is going to be the process, but the link is here. You'll get to know a little bit about it. There's different things you need to fill out in the application. You need to be in San Francisco Bay area from June 23rd to August 29th. This is an in-person thing. You better be there like GPA, graduation year, some other small essay type things, like 250 words. But how did you first hear James Peralta Sui? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. Join the Discord if and, and if you want to ask one, any of those questions, I'll answer really fast. But thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next video.